Hey, 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 Cravely Lisa Marie back again with another YouTube video. That's Cravely Lisa Marie here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. And I'm also Lisa Marie Getty on Facebook. And I don't normally say this, but I guess I'm going to start saying it now because it might help. And why not? If you would be willing to subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. And if you want to turn on the bell, then as you probably know, you get notified when I release a video. I'm trying uh, to do at least one video a week. So if you did turn on the bell, it's not like you're going to be inundated with videos anyway. Um, but, you know, however y'all want to do that. But I figure, I don't know, some people say it actually helps uh, to let people know that you want people to subscribe. I would think that would be assumed anyway, but, you know, knowledge is power and information definitely helps, especially in this day and age, and to verbally communicate it, and my hands can communicate it. So if you want to subscribe, like I said, I really appreciate it so, so much. So this video is for our monthly YouTube collab loop group, as I call it. And I say monthly because we did one last month. We have one planned for September. I plan to keep doing them for October, November, December, for whoever's interested. So we have this loop group already set up and the loop has been created. So I am tagging Carmen, um, in my video here in the description she already sent me the link for her video so if you could watch my whole video that would be great even if you're only watching pieces I hope you at least look at the description so you see her link so that you know to go check out her video next and if you're not subscribed to her channel it would be fantastic if you would subscribe to my channel and hers and everyone else in the loop so we have a continuous loop of all different creators, all different backgrounds, all different styles, all different planners. The theme, though, that we are doing, and this releases tomorrow, Wednesday, August 30th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I am filming this before my Instagram Live this evening, which starts at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, which is less than two hours. So I'm doing a lot of talking today. Um, but our theme for this month is back to school slash celebration because we had birthdays for this month and then people are going back to school. And I was so excited about that because I have these two kits here from DEK Designs, who I am a rep for. My code is Lisa Marie 15 for 15% off. That'll be down in the description as well. As far as I know, both of these kits are still available, foiled or non-foiled. And there's Hobonichi kits, there's journaling kits, there's just the deco sheets, lots of options. And if you have any questions about that, you can put them in the comments or reach out to me at any time. And you can reach out to me at any time with any questions about whatever. So I have back to school here and it's dekdesigns.com. This is the back to school kit. And then this is Boo Back to School. And I love them both so much. So I'm going to take elements of both to make this spread. And I just thought they were perfect for Back to School. And they both look like a celebration. And the foil, luckily this is like a hollow and this is like a shattered foil. But they're almost the same color, like a silverish type of color. So I can mix and match them. And that's the nice thing about DEK Designs. So much versatility with their kits. So this is one of the new planners I got from Erin Condren. Some of y'all know I absolutely love Erin Condren. I love their paper so, so much. This coil is off the chain, y'all. This is the main reason I got this specific planner was, if you know me at all, my favorite color is teal. And the combination of these colors together is fantastic. And then I got the teal cover, of course. Um, so I'm just over the moon. And then I got the canvas layout for the interior. So it's all gray tabs, which looks fantastic. And then, wait, I'm trying to find my pages. Um, okay, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and plan up. Oh. I'm going to plan for, what am I planning for? Where am I? I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, I haven't done a monthly yet or that. 
I'm planning for the upcoming week. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, what week am I... Because I sometimes I'm back planning, so I was like, am I doing the week before or this upcoming week? Okay. Wait, what week? What's today? Oh, I'm planning for this week. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> this is 43-year-old brain that takes anxiety meds, and I have like so many different things going on right now in my life and yeah <laughs> okay this is why I need different planners and like different stuff because I just cannot remember every single thing all the time and I don't have time to write every single thing down either so anyway I am going to be planning for this week August 28th through September 3rd I have multiple things going on this week or was I I think I was actually Now I'm confused again. Oh, wait. No, I'm... Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm trying to remember something that I'm doing tomorrow, and for some reason, I was thinking it was a different date. Total brain fart. Never mind. Wow. Okay, I just annoyed myself, because I'm like, what is wrong with your brain, Lisa? Okay, I'm close to that time of the month, and my monthly cycle is no joke. Like, I become a complete idiot, a complete klutz. I can't see anything. It's, it's so irritating. I'm like so irritated to be myself. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I don't know if anybody understands what I'm talking about. If you do, <laughs> feel free to comment in the comments about your struggles as well. Okay. So I wanted to take, I absolutely love all the deco here. Um, I kind of was, I was just going to use this kit because I love so much of it, but I love Boo Bear. So I think I might just use some like deco elements from Boo Bear to add into this. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. So good. All right. So let's see what Boo Bear. Okay. So when I do a horizontal, so this is the canvas horizontal layout, very neutral which I don't have to have neutral, I don't mind color, but I absolutely love Erin Contra and horizontal. However, I got my very first vertical and I was going to show it, but the covers are damaged. So I'm waiting to hear back from customer service before I haul it in a video and then use it. Um, so I'm excited to try out the vertical, but this is how I decorate a horizontal. Typically what I do is start with the washi. I lay down washi first because it makes it easier. Yeah, there's so many elements of this that are so good. I mean, look at this washi and then look at that one. Look how much fun that is, especially with the clouds. I mean, oh my gosh. And then look at Boo Bear with the little backpack. Oh my gosh. So, and then I love, love these flags. See, I would use just Boo Bear. I could do that just to make my life easier instead of going back and forth. But this one actually says back to school. Okay, so I might just use a couple of elements from this one and use mostly Boo Bear. See, I was thinking grid, but see how this is already plain? And then I was thinking this one, but I like the other ones I just showed you. Yeah, okay. So scratch what I said originally. I'm going to use a couple of deco boxes, maybe from this one to go with Boo Bear possibly. And if I was using a bigger layout, like a big dashboard, I would use more deco boxes so I wouldn't have to think about it too much. But I mean, look at this school bus. Look how stinking cute. And then Boo Bear with books here. I mean, okay, so out of these, these two are my favorite and then this one. And then, um, I love this one. So those might be all the decos I use. And then I might use some of the smaller. Or instead of using the two double boxes, I could just use the little deco here, actually. And then look at the shattered on that. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I can't wait to make a reel of this. Okay. Okay. Start with the washi, Lisa. I'm getting too excited. Okay. So. All right. And then flags. Okay. Put the boxes at the end. All right. So. In my thinking, there's rainbows and kites and there's clouds and sun here. In my thinking, just the way my brain works, I would put those at the top because 
that's where they're like sky elements. So I think of this, the top is going to be the sky, right? So that's just the way my brain works. Um, and I don't usually like doing white on white, but teal is my favorite color, like I said. And the, oh, but see, then I'm breaking up the cloud. Fate, okay. So this hasn't happened to me before where, okay, here's another element real quick of this of the skinny washer from DEK. Usually you can turn it this way as well, which I'll use in a skinny classic. But these are kind of set up to go together. See how the faces were connected? So that makes me not want to separate, even though that's what I normally do. See, normally I'd put this here and then I'd put one here. And then it's harder for me to use the bigger washi on here, which I just realized. I totally forgot about that. Because I usually save these day headers for Skinny Classic instead of putting them over here because they don't fit over here well. This all works good. Not this. This works good for Skinny Classic. This works good for um, Happy Planner Classic size or a big size. Um, but I can use some big ones down here as well. So, what am I going to do? But then all the skinny washi works in here. I'm going to go back to the back to school one again. <laughs> Even though I just said I wasn't going to do this. And I'm going to double check the skinny washi on this one. Yeah, see, that's too dark. And I don't want to use the happy faces. Okay. Um. Alright, and this, I feel like, is too... It's too much to use this and all this. So I'm thinking the pinks would be good at the bottom. And then these. Even though I'm separating them. The colors are just going to look awesome. Especially with the shattered. And you know what? I'm just going to use what's my favorite. The older I get. And let me know if you understand what I'm talking about. The older I get, the more I just want to use stuff that is my favorite, regardless of what it is. Like, less hoarding and wishing and worrying and wanting and, like, life's too short kind of thing. Look at how easy that lifted up, by the way. So, D.E.K. on Erin Condren paper is chef's kiss. You can remove it multiple times. It doesn't have to line up perfectly, but I kind of want to line it up better and I don't usually film myself doing this specific layout so I'm not like I'm not a pro or anything like I know how I do things but I also don't rush myself and I don't edit my videos <laughs> so what you see is what you get now I usually typically put a deco box right here so I'm not worried about this one carrying all the way over so I'm gonna put it as far over here as possible so then I'm covering up less and I actually could cut this and put this somewhere else the rest of it I've done that before but I for the sake of time, even though I said I don't usually rush, um, I'm just going to leave it. But look how much, look how good. Oh, another thing I would suggest when you're, not that you need suggestions, but if you want them. Um, when you're getting ready to lay down washi, make sure your page is set the way you want it to. Like straight and, because sometimes I get excited and I don't pay attention. But I'll automatically take my finger down here and go like this to reset the paper. Because when it's getting close to that time of the month in my cycle, I can't lay down anything straight to save my life. <laughs> Luckily, I think I'm okay right now. Okay, so I'm done with this sheet because I'm not using this washi or the day header. So I'm going to put that off to the side, get it out of the way. I might use some of these, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I do want to use that. I want to use this box. So once I use this box, I'm done with this sheet. That's another way I decorate, by the way, y'all, is figuring out what I need from what sheet. This is for a monthly. The weekend, sometimes I will use that, but see how clashing. So depending on what else I put here, I might use the weekend sticker, but I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it might be a little too much. And then I think I'm going to... This is like the notes section, but since I want to put a box here... If I was going to use the school bus, I would put it up here on like Saturday and I have room to do that. That's a lot of deco in a small space, 
but I do actually have enough room to do that. But then I have this very jarring yellow. Um, see, and then I was thinking maybe don't put yellow in at all. Like save that for a different spread. Even in the smaller deco that I mentioned here, like not use the yellow elements, but use all the other elements because I just think it'll be really pretty if I have the colors, I'll go with the coil. So yeah, let's skip the yellow buses. Okay, so what, what am I going to put here? I'm either going to put this one or I'm going to take one of these. So what are the other ones I'm going to use? Let's figure that out real quick. So school days would be fun because it's back to school. See, and I kind of don't want to take anything from here because I want it to go with the kit that it goes with. Um, man, that's tough. <laughs> I really like this one for some reason, and the blue actually matches. But you know what? I'm just going to stick with Boo Bear. I'm just like so into Boo Bear right now. There are so many Boo Bear kits from DEK too, and I'm just obsessed. And Boo Bear seems like celebration to me because they actually look excited to go to school. And I love that idea. I need to grab a tissue, guys. Hold on. I should have said y'all. need to grab a tissue, y'all. Okay, so far though, I love how this washi looks. Oh my gosh. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I got started. Okay, and this is going to be a longer video than my other videos have been because I'm doing a plan with me and I don't speed it up. Now, I thought about speeding it up. Oh, I forgot I don't have to cover it up. I'm an idiot. Okay, let me move that over. Um, I forgot that I could speed this up and put music. So let me know in the comments if if you're even listening and gotten this far or still watching or whatever. Um, or if you even care. Let me know if you're um, the type of person when you watch YouTube videos, if you prefer when people speed it up and put music to it or do you actually like listening to the person talk and their process i mean i'm still gonna do whatever works for me best depending on the video and time and stuff like that Ooh, look at that that lined up perfect and by the way i'm wearing a bright pink neon dress which is very celebration like Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Ah! Oh my gosh, look. Look at little Boo Bear. Boo Bear going to school. I'm going to school because I'm Boo Bear. I don't know why I'm singing like that, but <laughs> that's what I think about when I see Boo Bear. Boo Bear, Boo Bear. Okay, have you seen Inside Out? Amazing movie. Great story. Oh my gosh, cannot re recommend it enough. And if you watch it, Listen for bing bong, bing bong, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Because that's what I think of when I see Boo Bear. Bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> okay, so I took the box I wanted. I'm done. Might use the weekend, might not. Okay, so I think I'm going to lay down the other deco I want to use. And like I said, I don't want to... What? I don't want to use these the back to school would be cute because it says back to school but i don't i don't really want to bring in the brown i kind of want to use the pinks and the blues and there's no purple the teal does kind of match okay so i already have that color that's funny because of the light bulb okay i know i definitely love this one i think i'm going to use these two as well oh yeah that's so cute oh look at how cute that is up there oh my gosh <gasps> I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boo bear heaven. Okay. Um, and then sometimes I'll lay these out in the middle of, and I might even add this one too, cause I'm going to have room. I could add, uh, I do have this one as well, which uh, matches that one washi, but it also goes with this because it's got the right colors and I have room. Um, so let me put this one. Okay, so this color, this color is like this color, so that's why I have them separated. This matches this washi, so I'm going to want to put this one up here. And I think I'm going to put it, yeah, see, I don't want it in the same place. 
I like to have things kind of like alternated. That's how I figure it out. Um... Oh my gosh, see how easily I was able to lift that up? Ah, love it. And I'll just line it up on the line. Sometimes I just make my life easier and use the lines to line stuff up. Okay, so see, I have a good juxtaposition. Ooh, I just said that really fast and it made me sound smart. Which, it's school stuff, people. I just realized that. Duh. Okay, this one is super cute, so I do want to add this one in. I think I... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, the colors. Oh my gosh, look how fun this is. Is this not a celebration of fun? Doesn't this like get you excited about school? I'm sure it does. Okay. Deco boxes, add in headers. Okay, so next I move to this. I call this the weather pattern stickers because that's what it reminds me of. And they go fabulous next to a month so i could put them on this side or this side i think i'm gonna put them on this side i like to i had to start my video over because it cuts off at 20 minutes and all i said was this is how i like to put these and they just look so pretty right there i can use the hexagons either way as bullet points but since i have enough room um, what I like to do is use the flags, the boxes, and the heart checklists. So, I've got to grab my tweezers. And my tweezers even match with the hot pink and the silver. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I'm going to start with, normally, this is, <laughs> this is hard for me sometimes, like, figuring out how I want to line this stuff up because, um... Okay, I don't want to put a box or a heart checklist right here because I have this deco box here. So that means I want to put a flag there, even though I wanted to put the flag there originally. I like putting the hearts right here, so I'll put a box there. Okay, see how my brain just worked that out really fast? <laughs> okay, and then I don't want to do the mint color because that's right there. So let's do... Oh, I can do the pink because the washi's at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to put that box there. Even though I have the pink there, it's not overwhelming, and who cares? <laughs> I wanted to put it there, so that's where I put it. Okay, um, and then I have to use these flags, because, oh my gosh. Oh, so I alternate. If I'm using two elements, I just alternate the elements. So, like, box, flag, box, flag. But I have an extra element because I have the checklist. And I like to put them in these boxes, like I said. But see how I have these coming into here? So I put a heart checklist there and a heart checklist there. So let me do that right now, actually, because I already know. So, like, the mint is going to go perfect here. Because I got the pink box there. Like, color-wise. And this is just how my brain works, y'all. And that's not an excuse or an apology. I'm just kind of explaining, like... Oh, and then I already know I'm probably not going to use the tan. I'm going to save that for a different spread. So I'm trying to use the brighter colors. So that's the same thing I'm doing with the boxes and the checklist. So this... So this checklist is going to go up here. I could put it in the middle. Do I want that in the middle? Actually, it doesn't look bad. Oh, so another thing I've explained about how I use these boxes and checklists. Oh, there's pink and pink. That's right. Um, another way I use these is I use them for a block of space to write something. So not necessarily a three-point checklist or three things here. I could write one thing on here and then something else right here. And then I could just write one thing right here, but this signifies that I'm writing something. I think some people think that they have to use these a certain way. And I, like I said, just use it as a block of space. It's like a header or like, you know, a flag. So a block of space for that. So I'm wondering if I should do the blue box here instead. Eh, okay. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so let's do this flag. Oh my gosh, this flag is so stinking cute. 
Okay, see how I have so much lined up here? I think... Ugh, all right. I'm wondering... I think... I might... I might actually do both. I do that sometimes, too. I'll do a box and a flag. Because I really wanted to put a flag up here because... It's kind of plain up here. Oh, you know what? I just realized it's the book one. <laughs> Not that it really matters, I guess. But, okay. So, I'm going to switch these out. Nobody cares. But I noticed it, so... I'm going to go ahead and change it. Okay, there's that. So, let me figure out where else I want to put a flag... I think right here. I want to make sure I was still in frame. Okay. There's a flag. Okay. And then, oh, mint box right here. Actually. Or. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Oh, you know what I realized I'm missing? <gasps> Oh, that might help make the difference. I think that's what I usually, or sometimes do. Um, I was thinking I could grab some boxes from JoJo. From Mojo JoJo plans. But I kind of just want to use this kit. Oh, I need to use one of these. Oh, so I should... Okay. I have the checklist, but then... Okay. And then, and then, I say and then a lot. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. Okay. And then, and I could just go ahead and use as many boxes as I want. So, I'm going to actually... And I can talk while I'm doing this, but I don't know. Once I get those tweezers in my hand, it's really hard for me to let go of them. <laughs> Even if I don't need them anymore, I'll just keep holding on to them. And I'm like, okay, I could do this a lot quicker if I wasn't holding on to something I didn't need. Okay, I might move this stuff around once I start putting these boxes down. Because I'm not sure how I want to... Oh, you know what? I might just use all these flags. I like to move the flags around too, by the way. So like, usually you'd put them here, but I like to put them like in the middle. <laughs> so it kind of breaks up the space. So I can write two separate things. I could put a couple boxes here and then leave this space for writing. You know what I mean? So it's just another way to break up the page a little bit, but it's not like super obvious, which I like. Okay, and then, all right, this, it's not bothering me per se, but I actually like when all the checklists, even though I just said just now for the flags, I don't do that, but for the checklists, if I do one on top, I like to do the other ones on top too. Plus, it'll look good lined up to this washi. I feel like, because it makes the washi pop a little bit more. Okay, and then this one. Oh, here we go. I forgot I like to put one right here, too, for the checklist. Oh, perfect. And even though the colors are the same here, they're separated, so it's, like, no big deal. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and use... I want to use as many boxes and flags as I can. So... Oh, that would be cute. Although it would be better right there. But I don't have any of those. Yeah, but actually that looks kind of cute. Okay. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, okay, I might move this pink box down and put this one up here. Oh, that looks cuter. Okay, I like that better. I like this better. 
better. Okay, I already said I was breaking that one up. Okay, so this one can move here then. And not everything has to be matchy-matchy or perfect to match on both sides of the paper or the colors or any of that. Like, I just kind of go with what works for me. Um, oh, so I could... Well, those flags have a lot more of the brown in it, so I think I'm going to save those. Okay, and now I'm going to go through and add in boxes. I can use all different shapes, but I really like this oval shape. And I like alternating. I don't know why I did that. I like alternating the colors. Oh, I forgot. I'm not using the brown. Okay. So. I love layering these on top of each other like that. I just think that's so much fun. Oh, but you know what? Let's do this one with this. So this will go... No. This will go... What am I doing? I have so many different things to write in, so I don't have to really worry about... Like, I have so much room to write stuff in. I have different things I want to write in, but I have so much room to write stuff in, too, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to move this one up since I want to put this one here. Oh, that's cute. Ah, see how cute that is? And then... Now I'm think. Oh yeah, see I have the other blue in there. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now I'm gonna put this one here. There we go. Now I'm gonna put this one down here. Yeah, that's it. So it's so nice to have sticker paper. Do you see how much I'm moving stuff around? And that's exactly why I'm doing that, folks, just so you can see how good it works. <laughs> this was all planned. Completely and totally planned. No joke. Okay, and then look at all the different colors I have here. To put these here. Ah, so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then look at all the shapes and colors. So good. Okay, I'm not even done yet. So... I also like these boxes as well, or, huh, and I don't mind going into the lines on top here. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I said I wanted to use this as a checklist, a block of space for the checklist, so... I forgot I need to leave that open. So I'm going to put this here. Oh. I'm going to put this here. And I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with the boxes here soon. Okay. And then let's put the pink one right here. Or no. Let's do the pink one right here. Oh, yeah. See, I love this pink, this shade of pink, and the periwinkle together. Love, 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 love. I love all the colors, but ugh, looks so good, y'all. Looks so good. Oh, so speaking of which, let me put this one here. Oh, yeah. And then the mint will go over here. Look at that. I love when it just comes together and people sometimes I think get intimidated because they don't know how to um, put a spread together, but you just start with certain elements and then you just build from there. I mean, that's basically what I do. And then, okay, so writing, 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 writing. I could put a couple boxes. I can put this one over here. Uh, 
I like to give myself plenty of room to write. Like, uh, plenty of spaces to write is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so writing, 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 writing. Okay, so now I have plenty of places to write. I do have one more box I could use, which that matches. Oh, actually I have a couple. Oh, you know what? I could... I could just leave this, but... I could also put that there. Oh. Of course it would be crooked. I could put double boxes in here, but let's see. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I just realized? I'm going to save the rest of these boxes for when I do another spread. I totally forgot I was going to add in deco. I pretty much do the headers last in the glitter headers. Um, so let me, okay, here's my back to school. I wanted something to say back to school, so that's perfect. And then, oh my gosh, this is so stinging cute. Okay, this is where I can start bringing it together more is with the deco. So... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I should do the headers first. Yeah, let me do the headers. Because normally I would put a header up there. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to put headers above those. So let me, I'm going to move that back to school. I might actually put it at the top right here. Or, well, some people already started. I might end up moving this, but I could just put it here for right now. And then, oh, you know what I could do? Look at this. I don't know how it will look, though. But I love being able to do this. Oh, that looks kind of cute. Okay. Um, Alright, so let me do headers. So this is going to be to do... Love headers. And then this is going to be next week. I love headers so much. The headers just make it even that much more fun. And I don't usually put headers above this, but I will put glitter if I'm like layering. Okay, and then, oh, and then I wanted to use the this week. But I don't, I like to match the color sometime. You know what, I'm just going to do it. Screw it. That's good to say in a video about back to school. <laughs> okay. Um, I can see what colors I used, obviously. Duh. So let's do today. Oh, look how cute that looks. I love, love this pink with the periwinkle and the mint color. They nailed this, y'all. Like, DEK Designs is so good. <laughs> okay. Um, that's to do. So I can... Oh, okay, yeah, I want to do... Okay, so I have two more boxes. Oh, I'm perfect. I have today and to do. So let's do... Today here. Colors. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'll tell you what. Plan with me's are a lot more fun when you actually love the stickers that you're using. Even if you're a rep. Like, some people say, act like you can't enjoy the stickers if you're a rep for a team, but I don't have that problem. I mean, I'm not burned out on this. I love doing it, and I love, love, love DEK design, so that ain't no problem with me. Okay, um, I do like layering in the foil where I can. I know, I don't want to do that. You know, I think I'm not going to add in the foil. Usually I put foil headers all over, but it depends on the layout. And I think in this case, the way I'm doing what I'm doing looks really good. And I'm only going to put headers on these boxes. Oh, although sometimes I would... Um, 
sometimes I'll put a header like above the checklist. I forgot that looks good too. At least on that one. <laughs> I like these that way. So I'm just going to do that one. Okay. Done with that. All right. So then I'm just adding in deco and I'm done. Yay. All right. I might move that back to school. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So there's multiple of the same. And they are the same as the deco for the most part, the deco boxes. So you know what I could do to fill in this space more? I could actually put um, I could actually put two of these together. Like they're going together. Buddies. School buddies. Okay. I don't like the back to school. I feel like the back to school needs to be in a more fun place. Okay, where's a fun place to put back to school? Um, I feel like... No. 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 That's cute. Oh, I could have put it right here. Oh, I might put a deco. See, this is why I wanted to do the headers, y'all, so I can figure out where I want to put deco. So, see, now I can do that. And now I can do that. And it's just so stinking adorable. <laughs> Even if I've used a deco already, I'll use one on the other page and just alternate them that way. Because it's just, it's my planner and I want to. It's my planner and I'll deco if I want to. Deco if I want to. Deco if I want to. You would deco too. If it was your planner to dun 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 it's my planner it's my planner and all and all Okay, I don't know what happened, but all you might have missed was me putting this last little deco sticker down here. I'm assuming, but I was just filling in the rest of the deco if you did miss anything. But this is my finished product. I absolutely love how this turned out, especially with the coil. I mean, it is stinking, adorable, and gorgeous, and functional at the same time. And you got to see how I pieced it together. And I can do these quickly if I'm not on here like talking about it and stuff like if I was downstairs doing this or even up here I could have done this in like maybe 10 minutes or less but I was like trying to figure out what I was doing and I just wanted to kind of make it cute you know and kind of I didn't have to talk through so I mean in the comments you can let me know if you just want me to do something real quick if you want me to speed it up and you just see the finished product I actually like talking it through and I might keep doing that, but I could switch it up. Like I could do some where I do talk and where I don't. And so let me know in the comments if you have a preference at all. But either way, thank you for being here. Thank you if you came over from Robin's channel. Oh, so Robin from Robin's Planning Nest is actually tagging me. So if you're uh, following the loop group and watching the videos and you came from her channel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you if you're here because you're following me. Thank you if you go follow Carmen and the rest of the folks in the group. We appreciate any and all support. We are so glad you are here to share this journey with us content creators. I hope you enjoy my spread. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, take care. Bye.